Welcome to the Texas Go Radio Show. I'm your host, Victorious, and this is part 58 of this Bertarius scam 10 hour documentary that Milker Nation threw so much blood, sweat, and tears to create. Welcome. I made for a great slave, always eager for the workouts and running at the front of the platoon as our flag carrier. I lived for the one hour a night that I was able to read my Bible and write letters to my family members, as well as the Sunday morning chapel services. It's the closest I've ever felt to God. I also felt a connection to my biblical namesake, Caleb, who had no fear about charging first into the promised land and worked diligently to stay physically ready for the big day. I find it funny that the promised land was inhabited by giants and full of fruity, fruitful land. Sounds oddly familiar, like a place currently being built by a rather large bear. Could it be Bertaria? <clears throat> That's how I read the Bible. I read the Bible like, like it's real and happening right now and I'm in it. I didn't want to get into it and, the, and uh, draw the eyes of the higher ups, so I tried to be sneaky with my answer. After all, plans can change, right? Especially if I join a new religion like Bertarian Christianity. It's not a religion. Thank you, though. I think the virus is isolation. So make healthy communities and really watch out for promise of a community, promise of all the answers. That's a- Notice how it switched from we're building our own community to you build your community because he's already received hundreds of thousands of dollars. At this point, he has already purchased 10 acres uh and that's pretty much the only thing that he has done in this point in time to fulfill his obligations to the donors. Trap. Urserio is not a is not going to be an answer for anybody's problems. It's going to be a place to camp with your family. And the fact that we're building it is going to be an epic, epic adventure. Whenever he says things like that, it's important to remember exactly how this whole thing started. And it's it's the origin of all of the problems for this uh, Bertaria scam because it was during a worldwide catastrophe and he fear-mongered in order to get people to give him large amounts of money with all kinds of promises, all sorts of promises. And after he received large amounts of money, decided, nope, this is my money. Kinda, do we have any super chats or... Or uh, is everyone just a cheap motherfucker today, huh? Oh, how dare you, turning on your own audience. Oh, thank you. Your best future is in the trades because you can't pretend to fix a fucking pipe. But there, I mean, but that's the thing. It's the same with cops. Cops are done, man. There's no more police in most in cities. Fear. And humiliation, calling everybody cheap no more police I know a lot of police they're gone they hide they're demoralized they can't like they shoot each other because I'm wrong all the time if you go back in some of my streams I'll be saying stuff that I've totally changed my mind on a liar or a lot of that would be found in the uh, first 20 minutes 30 minutes of uh, the Bertoria documentary by Milker Nation shill or a these people that are demonic, they can't ever do that. They can never be like, oh, good point. Oh, you're right. I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> because they have to stay on that path. And it's just like when you're sailing uh, a boat. If- this is this is interesting. <clears throat> I can't remember which one it was, which breakdown it was, but it's definitely in this documentary where Owen is justifying the uh, his actions by saying – that no matter what you do or what motives, everything is good. And that stealing is not even an option because it's impossible to steal. You're one degree off. Yeah, after 100 yards, you can correct and it's not that hard. I'm always correcting. I'm always correcting my course. If you're 10 hours down, that's miles you have to correct. Living like how I live or in a, how a lot of you guys live, it's funny that he said 10 hours whenever this is a 10 hour and so a uh, uh, 40 minute documentary. Live, it's worth it to face the struggle that day or that week 
when you're wrestling with something that makes people mad at you or you realize you're wrong and your ego says, don't admit it, you bet a thousand, Big Bear. And then you're like, no, I was wrong. Okay, so what is the right answer? The more you do that, the more your life is very low energy output. That's why I can accomplish so much in my day because I don't have to just constantly handle lies. Lies are an expensive investment. They get to a point where there's no turning back. That's Alzheimer's waiting to happen. Yeah, Alzheimer's is a combination of magnesium deficiency, a lot of aluminum, and lying. If you're wrong, just admit it. That's why the people that are so mad at me for having disagreements, it's, most of the time, I'll leave theology out of it. Some people have a different theology and they have a right to that, and that's totally cool. But there are certain things, especially when it comes to like the moon stuff or certain psyops, where you're he's definitely not going to mention the Bertaria scam. If you're mad at him for that, then that's your fault. He's clearly told you. Go look at the Ponzi uh, video. He clearly said his opinion on this entire situation. And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this uh, breakdown. That and people like Vertec, uh, Tactical, Brandon, uh, continue so they continuously support this man, even though there is overwhelming evidence video evidence that he is a liar manipulator who uses tactics and uh, verbiage and um, delusional uh, fantasy just just like his spill right here talking about lies what it does if you're just casually listening is you're, you're listening to this guy talk for five ten minutes about lying and how it's wrong and so you just you just think Oh, well, he can't be a liar because then if he was a liar, then he wouldn't be able to say the things that he can. But as this documentary has shown all of us, he very well can. And that's the, that's the uh, that's somewhat proof of his ability in the uh, spellcraft and wizardry. It's straight up wrong. And the reason they, they get so mad at me is because... Um, is because uh, they don't want to go back and admit it and, and pay the penalty for being wrong for 30 years, taking all that pride in it, and then you have to repay the pride. I mean, some of the people that hate me the most in the world are the ones who their issue with me is so stupid because it turned out they were wrong in what they did and said and freaked out about. They can't just be like, oh, my bad. Do you know how many of these gammas or these trolls or whatever, if they simply had been like, yeah, man, yeah, my bad, it's all good, or didn't double down or make something weird, I'd be like, okay. No, it's so obvious when someone's like demonic, they're like, how dare you? Be fruitful and multiply, don't be fruity and blow a guy. It's so obvious when someone's demonic Now, that's a statement coming from him. He. <laughs> and really take to heart what I said today, because it's it's fucking legit. I'm very smart. Are fruit trees being planted or surreal? Not yet. We haven't even cleared it yet. It's a process. But. You know, we're setting up the ability to uh, like the infrastructure. So this is April, July, August, September, October, November, December. That's six months. He bought the land three months in, in September, I do believe. December, January, February, March, April. So it's been 10 months since the whole thing started, but seven months since he actually bought the land. And he hasn't started clearing it yet. Although he's sitting on thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars of other people's money that was given to him based on promises. Or people logging in and writing down like when they want to camp. And that's one of the, that's one of the uh, frustrating parts about this whole thing is that it, it was, it appears that he, put very little thought into it. He either put very little thought into it or he put a whole lot of thought into it, if that makes sense, to strategically jump on a world crisis 
and fearmonger his uh, victims, followers, cult members, into giving him money because he portrayed himself as the savior of the situation. And then as soon as the money started rolling in and he got a large sum of it, he flipped the script and said, actually, no, <laughs> no, it's my money. And if you uh, want it back, then I'm, I'm just going to ignore you and, and block you. Whenever he could have said, all right, guys, I mean, it was hot in emotions. And uh, yeah, uh, what do y'all want to do? Do y'all want y'all's money back or do y'all want to keep doing this or? No, it's just lies, 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 manipulation, humiliation, fear. Like that. Uh, end of May, we're going to build some uh, some cabins that are epic. I'll give you a hint. Some stone cabins. Think about how fucking epic that is. I don't know if I'm supposed to not say that. I don't care. I'm not good at, at keeping things to myself. Allegedly, could it be we might except for whenever uh, the people that gave him money was asking how, how how many acres he had bought, and for some reason he wasn't going to tell anybody. And the reason why is because it was only ten acres and not two hundred and whatever two hundred plus. That's twice as much as what he said in his promises in the opening ceremonies of this scam. That was twice as many acres as he had allotted for cult stuff. Might be building stone. I don't know. There's a lot of allegations happening. I felt sad today, so I, all right, that's rough. At least you weren't the guy who hit the dog. No, I hit the dog. It was a grabber dog. Hey, Burn Bear, I shot that fucking dog for no reason other than to make myself happy. Feeling? You still feeling sad? What? All right. I almost bought an. Eye. What was he talking about? I thought he was talking about running his dog over. Oh, and then he he had to put it down. Is that what he's talking about? On first, uh, Rio. It wouldn't have been called Ursa Rio. It would be called Isle de Ursa. But there was an island for sale up here. I just couldn't afford it. And, and just real quick, whenever people call someone a cult leader, it's just one of the oldest scams in the book. Whenever a community is formed... And the community kind of does their own thing. And the, I'm not going to say leader of the community, but instigator of the community, like myself, uh, doesn't put themselves above the community. Like they actually. Oh, 100%. That's the only reason why he's able to say things like this is because people usually don't actively listen. Because he absolutely, 100%. Without a shadow of a doubt, thinks that he is above the bear community, the actual cult members, his victims. He says so often how much smarter he is than everyone. It's strategic that he doesn't use anybody's actual names and that everybody has bear names. Because it's easier to victimize you if he dehumanizes you. Hang. They actually are accessible. I actually talk to people in the chat and all that. You're then labeled a cult leader. The best way to figure out if something is a cult is does the leader want to bang your wife? That's <laughs> I don't I'm sure that there's a there's a name for that. But going to the so far to the to the most extreme to to deny something is uh, insane. It is. If the answer is yes, cult. If the answer is no, it's just called a community. Cult is, is an abbreviation for culture. And so I'm really happy that uh, – that. Uh, so what's the culture in the bear community? Not, not in the bear community because there is culture in the bear community. I've talked to numerous people who are ex-bears who are – they seem to be very lovely people, smart, uh, encouraging But as far as his culture, what is his culture? What's his business model? Give me money on a basis of a promise or multiple promises, and then I will eventually uh, break those promises because of reasons. The DVD, him charging $100 for a comedy special DVD signed is a perfect example of his culture. Hey, pre-sales, I'm selling a DVD. It's of my comedy special. It's going to be signed. 100 bucks. 
hundred bucks is pretty expensive for that anyway. Uh, but that is what it is. And then multiple times have I heard him say, nobody even wants their money back. Everybody understands. I'm eventually going to do something. And then whenever, whenever it comes down to it, he writes a 60 second um, ad lib song and then forces people to say, Oh yeah, that's, that's better. Uh, I liked instead of a full hour, that's pretty much, that's pretty much his business. You get, you, he promises 60 minutes of something and then ends up giving you 60 seconds, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not more for 10 acres and nothing. Curtis Stone is also starting culture because what they want and the environmental movement is so twisted and it's been manipulated for so long. Oh, that's a great test. Yeah, it's always it's always a great test. Just ask yourself, does the leader of this group want to bang my wife? The answer is yes, you're in a cult. Or husband. That's because there's some gays out there. That's not true. That's not true. I mean, not what he just said, but that's that's ridiculous. There, there are tens, if not hundreds, more reasons or qualifications for cults. And one of them, one of the most obvious, is that you change your name. There's a cult name. All right. Yeah, you know I'm not a cult leader when I don't... The question, always ask yourself, am I a cult leader? Do I want to fuck any of your wives? No. Dear Owen, I hope you are well. No. What's another aspect of a cult leader? Um, give me your money and expect nothing. Oh, I have been busy and unable to keep up with the streams. I write this letter in hopes that you'll uh, remember my first letter. This is the Texas Go Radio Show, and I'm your host, Matorius. As always, till next time.